So, hello, uh, my name is, is DJ Pearson. Um, this is my show of work at that gallery uh, in Dragon Alley. Um, I'm going to talk about some of the pieces, I guess. This is, um, this is Tree Girl, and she actually came from an idea I had about um, uh, sort of Japanese mythology about um, the natural world having spirits and, and being inhabited, things being inhabited by, uh, by creatures that, that were not inanimate but, but actually had personalities. So she is the embodiment of, of uh, an apple tree, I guess, and, and sort of um, a caretaker of, of the beings that are, that are apples. Uh, but because of the way um, nature works and the sort of ebb and flow and death and, and birth, uh, she can't protect the apples forever, so they, they fall and these, uh, these little bunnies come and they, they eat them. So they're left as... as skulls instead of full flesh apples. Uh, so that's a bit of what that's about. Um, the idea for it, um, it, it basically came very quickly. I, I had the idea when I drew it and I think I was working on it and almost finished it by the end of the next day. And then, um, that, I always find the best pieces happen that way. Um, from that one, I uh, I have actually worked on that idea of, of the sort of natural world being inhabited uh, in past pieces as well. I did a series called The Spirits of the Mechanical Age, and so it wasn't just the natural world, but everything being inhabited. So from there I move on to, um, I've, I've got a piece here that's, that's a, a robot girl, so I wanted to kind of do something a little more fun. They're very similar figures I wanted to kind of have a bit of a theme as far as the, the, the physicality went. Um, I don't know if I, I have an awful lot to say about her. I sort of, she was kind of inspired by the C-3PO from, from uh, the Star Wars movies or the, the, the robot in the Metropolis movie. I wanted to do something that was sort of a, uh, a future that never happened or a re retro future. Uh, I'm, I've always been fascinated by the sort of gothic, uh, or Reagan gothic we used to call it sort of uh, the future that we imagined we'd be living in, but didn't really happen that way. We feel ripped off because we don't have our, our flying cars yet, and our, our gravity boots. So that, that's sort of what she was about. Uh, good. Um, this piece is called uh, Mickey, actually Mini Skirt and Mickey Pants. So it was a piece that was kind of based on, uh, on a play on words or on a joke. I had actually developed the the Mickey Mouse character. Uh, years ago, I did a painting. And it was a it was a human face with in a Mickey Mouse costume, and I had the idea that he maybe was a superhero. And then from there, it kind of turned into him um, kind of creeping up on this kind of cheesecake Minnie Mouse kind of character. And I've always kind of loved the idea of the anthropomorphic. Disney characters. You know, what are they? What's what's go what's Goofy? What's Pluto? You know, he's, they're both dogs, but they, they they have different different functions in in their society. So, is Mickey a mouse, or is he a guy in a mouse suit? You know, what's Minnie? You know, she's just this girl with a with a Mickey Mouse hat on and a, and a mini skirt. And I also love the idea of the sort of the sort of cheesecake um, weird almost pornography and, and or, uh, uh, bent to it. Um. <laughs> uh, this piece is called Kite. Uh, I've always been um, fascinated by Leonardo da Vinci's drawings and sketches. Sort of see him, uh, he's, he's a bit of a hero to me. I, I see him as the world's um, most famous underachiever. He was a painter, but in his lifetime he, he didn't do that many paintings, but he's, he's famous as being a painter. But what he was a genius for, or what he was a genius of, is, is just making things up. He made up the, the flying machines and the, 
a bunch of machines that actually couldn't ever possibly function, but they, they were gorgeous uh, works. So I, I used to do a lot of uh, mechanical pieces that would flap their wings, and they, they were always bat wing kind of uh, kind of things. So I, I wanted to, to continue that with with the notion of you know flight and and freedom. So we've got this girl on a on a kite that couldn't possibly fly, couldn't possibly support her weight, but the the the, the wind has somehow taken it, and these guys were sort of supposed to be in control of the, of the kite, but they've been taken along for a, lo a ride. Um, the female figure, for some reason, in a lot of my pieces, ends up being the, the large figure. Uh, I sort of see that as, as um, female power, as opposed to, like, in a lot of cases, males are, are um, subject to female power, and not that, you know, that, not that either side of the, of the equation knows it, or, or definitely, um, or, or necessarily admits to it, but I, I feel that females have a certain amount of power over men that maybe they don't know about, so that's a little bit of what these pieces are about, sort of tiny men trying to control a, a, a larger female with, with power. She, her power is the, is the kite and the power of flight, and they're just along for the ride.